condition that I see so much of and I get asked so much about are the broken capillaries. And most of the time my clients are coming in, they're surrounding their nose area, but sometimes you will see them in other places. Will you talk to that a little bit? Yeah, um, so the nose one in particular is rosacea, and that we can uh, have its own category on for sure. Um, so there definitely are people who develop visible capillaries as a result of rosacea. But telangiectasias are kind of their own unique creature. A telangiectasia is a broken capillary. And it's funny that we even use the term broken because they are absolutely on point and, uh, and purposeful by the skin. Um, the, ch the challenge we've had as physicians is they're a little unsightly, they certainly come with exposure to the sun. It's about photo damage ultimately. But what's happening is the sun is creating a wound and the skin says, you know what? I'm not getting enough circulation to that area to fix it. So I'm gonna build a couple of new blood vessels right at the surface to help support that, that repair process. And so it's actually, it's, it's a perfect design. So the way to treat it is not to collapse it with a laser. Uh, the way to treat it is to enhance the wound repair process so that they disappear on their own. So it's not even something that's broken, so to speak. Yeah. It's not, because I always had this visual of something busting in there and that's yeah. how it pops to the surface. I know, it's a funny it. name. Uh, then that would be a bruise, right? If you had a broken capillary. So it is, it's funny how they, uh, they call it that. But so... Um, so often, uh, some people will get vitamin K because that kind of clots and they're like, I want to shut this down. Well, as I talked about earlier, circulation is declining every year of your life. You don't want any less circulation. In fact, probably one of the reasons the skin is making these broken capillaries at age 40 plus is because your circulation has dropped and they're like, I need more circulation now. So uh, the idea is, again, you know, we use a DNA repair strategy, that catalyst product. Um, I'll also add uh, the, the uh, trioxalane product called Rescue. And so we use those two primarily to help assist in that wound repair process. But again, the skin's doing the work. And once you accelerate the wound repair, they disappear. That is the coolest thing ever. Sometimes three or four weeks later, you're just watching this, this blood vessel you had on your face for years just bloop, disappear. Yeah, that's actually happened to me. And it's crazy because oh. we always think it's a result of something harsh we've done physically. Yeah. Well, like I had, I coughed or, you know. I've seen it actually co come from uh, straining, um, but I still don't believe that that is the primary source of these, these uh, conditions. But you mentioned harsh. I think that's a good last point to leave on. One of the first realizations I had that chemical peels were not the right strategy for most people is when I was doing aggressive chemical peels called a TCA peel and people were coming back a week later with broken capillaries and the storyline at the time was oh yeah they were always there we just revealed them which is not true unfortunately I hate to tell you it, what's true is you wounded the skin so significantly it's like oh boy I need new blood vessels to help fix it. Very nice. Well, thank you, because yeah. those are hard to get rid of, so. Yeah, no, we are very excited about the technology for that. Perfect.